and I'm going to be conducting a personal training session for the AIPT simulation assessment. Uh, firstly, I have organised session four. As you can see, we have our bench and 10 kilogram dumbbell um, prepared for the bent over rows, and we also have the mat, which will be used for the lunges and the push-ups. Um, consider other considerations of other gym users. It's a one-on-one -on -one session, and there's no other gym users in at the moment, so it's pretty sweet. Um, the session plan will, is very clear. We're going to start off with a fitness test for the client to test out his fitness levels. We're then going to go on to do strength training, and then we're going to do a bit of a circuit. Um, I have checked and tested all equipment. Everything is safe and in good use. And there are no hazards in and around the area, so that's pretty good. Now, my client, is uh, his name is Jason. Welcome, Jason. I'm going to be your trainer for today. Um, now, Jason, I just want to ask a couple of questions. First, we're going to go through a pre-screening form for you. So, uh, first question, has your doctor ever told you you have a heart condition? No. Yeah. No? Okay. Um, do you ever experience pains in your chest at rest or during physical activity? No. No? Um, do you ever feel faint or have dizzy spells which causes you to lose balance during uh, physical activity? No. no? Um, have you ever had an asthma attack in the last 12 months that requires immediate medical attention? No. no? Um, do you have di any type of diabetes? Um, do you have any diagnosed muscle, bone, or joint pain that um, is made worse by physical activity? No. no. And um, do you have any other medical conditions that we must take note of? No. No. Beautiful. Okay. So, up onto that, you're clear to take a, undertake a session with me. Now, um, we're going to go on to do a fitness test. So, what you're going to do is you're going to come up to a platform which is about 40 centimeters in height. You're going to step up two feet and back down. And you're going to do that for three minutes, and then after that, we're going to measure your heartbeat, and then it will, in which area it is, and we'll tell how fit you are. So, if you want to get prepared, then the whole foot has to be. Yeah, the whole foot has to be on the step. So, you're starting in three, two, one, and go. Beautiful, just like that. Nice and easy steps like that, it's beautiful. It's good. Very much nice on the It's too you feel comfortable. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. That's one minute. You still have two minutes to go. You've got one minute left, guys. Doing a good job. Forty more seconds to go.
Three seconds, three seconds left. Last ten seconds, Jason. Four, three, two, one second, and that's it. So, you know, left hand. So your heart beat is within the first bracket, which you are below 129 beats per minute. So it means your fitness is at a very high level. You are very fit as it is. So now um, we're going to go on to the strength um, part of the training. So in this part, we're going to do three exercises. We're going to be doing uh, push-ups, body-weighted lunges, and uh, single arm bent over row. So um, first off, we'll start with push-ups. Your body straight, looking straight down, keep your breathing out of control and just go on straight down and come on straight back up. Straight down, straight back up. You can do one set of 10 reps. Two so like to get in position. So we're your hands shoulder width apart, your feet together. That's it. Body straight and just go straight down and straight back up. Beautiful. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, beautiful job, nine, and ten, and stand up, beautiful. So our second exercise, our second exercise will be a um, single arm bent over row. So you're doing that, you get your knee, on the bench, yeah, your arms on the bench for support and your right leg out. So then you get the weight, yeah, body straight, back straight, keep breathing out of control, just pulling it straight up and dropping it straight back down. Straight up, dropping it straight back down. So it's like into position, we'll do one set, 10 reps, and then we'll swap sides. So knee come to me, back straight. Right leg out for support. And just straight up and straight down. Three. Four. Five. That's a good, very good, very good form. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Beautiful job. Now we'll start over to the other side. Grab that for you. Same thing on the other side, guys. Right knee on the chair, right arm, definitely get up for support. Right up, straight back, and then just straight up, and straight down, beautiful job. Two, three, four, five, six, good job. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Very good form. Now, for our third and final exercise, we're going to do a body weight lunge. So, body weight lunges start, take a step out, drop your knee down, hands by side, feel it through your hip flexor, come straight back up and out the back. So, so you go down, arms by side, and then back up. Keep your back straight, knees nice, hands by side. Doing 10 reps. Uh, we're going to complete the cardio session on the assessment okay. of the session. We're going to do a circuit. So in the circuit, there will be three exercises with the 10 reps each. Um, we'll do squat, mountain climbers, and a 30 second plank. Okay. So 
I'll just quickly show you the form in each. So for squats, one your arms out, feet shoulder width apart, back straight, and just going down nicely to the point and back up. Arms out, just keep your back straight, don't lean forward, weight through the middle of your feet and going back up. For the mountain climbers, it's in a push-up position and it's you're bringing your knees to your chest and you're doing 10 of them. Is that the speed that I'm doing at it? That is roughly this speed. It doesn't have to be too fast. And then for the last exercise of plank, you get in a position, arms apart, knees, bare shoulders apart, arms shoulders apart, body straight, and holding it for 30 seconds. Okay. So we'll start uh, 30, uh, 10 squats yep. in your own time when you're ready. Back straight, arms out, keep breathing nice and controlled. That's good. Just keep, keep your breathing going. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Brilliant. Now we'll get down and we'll get to your mountain climbers. So in your push up position, lift your uh, buttocks a bit and now knees to your chest when you're ready. That's really good. So you keep your breathing good. Form is very good. Nine and last one. And two. And get back down to the mountain climbers. And in your own time you're ready. One, two, three, four, five. That's very good. Six. Keep your breathing on control. Now back on the mat, we go back to my 30 second plank. It's about the form, keep your breathing on, engage your core, arm um, far shoulder width, leg shoulder width. Raise and go. Holding it right there, that's really good. Slightly drop it, that's it, hold it right there. That's really good. To keep your breathing going, keep your body nice and straight, keep your core working and switch on. Yeah, 15 seconds left. 10 seconds to go. Doing very good. Great hold. Let's keep breathing. 3, 2, 1, and get up for the last round. Last attention. Show back into the squats. Remember, keep an eye on form, eye on breathing. Back straight, 
up there and squat. Beautiful. One, two. That's very good. That's very good. Two more. Nine and ten. That's brilliant. That's a great form. Now we get down to mountain climbers. Last ten mountain climbers. And you have time when you're ready. Good form. Keep breathing going. Three. That's very good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now we get into our last 30 second plank. Just remember, yep, yeah, arms shoulders apart, feet shoulders apart. Yeah. Engaging the core, lifting up, beautiful. Yep, slow, slow, that's it, perfect, right there. Just holding your hands, keep the breathing going, engaging your core. It's very good. Very stable. That's halfway, Jason. You have 15 seconds left. Keep the breathing going. Keep the core engaged. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and brilliant. I'm going to talk about special populations clients. The first thing we're going to be talking about is clients with high blood pressure. For clients with high blood pressure, you should avoid doing any exercises that having your arms and your legs above the heart, which can increase the blood flow and increase the blood pressure to an unsafe rate. Um, doing this, you should also avoid doing any sort of weight type training that lift your arm above the head, such as shoulder press, doing any sort of bench press, because that'll put more strain on the heart and also increase our blood pressure. Um, also avoiding any exercises that you've got to hold your breath and also do uh, rapid movements with. Pain can be caused by uh, incorrect form in the gym and as well as day-to-day -day activities such as lifting a box and sitting down in a chair. Modifications to be made to clients with lower back pain can be avoiding the area in total and working on other body parts. Um, exercises that should be avoided um, for clients with lower back pain can be planks, deadlifts, side planks to supermans because they directly target the area. So there are a couple common types of knee injuries um, such as ligament damage around the knee and also dislocation of the knee. Uh, modifications to be made for clients that do have a knee injury can be to totally avoid the area, totally avoid uh, lower body exercises. Now these exercises can be anything from squats, deadlifts, leg extensions, leg press because they will directly target the area and cause much more severe pain in their knee.